Hey guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to The Casual Puzzler to a dedicated puzzle brand review. It's been a bit since I did one of these types of videos and this one has been a long time coming. I met the owners of Antelope Puzzles when I was at the puzzle convention in July and they were so gracious and gave me a bunch of their puzzles to try and give some critiques on. So this is what this video is. I know I've mentioned them a few times. I've showed you the puzzles as I've done them, but this is its own dedicated video so that way if someone is on YouTube and just looking for antelope puzzle reviews, they have a video to go to. But we are going over the five puzzles that I have done from them, a little bit about the brand, my experience. I will say, starting off, I am not sponsored by them whatsoever. They just gave me the puzzles. They like to hear my full opinion, either good or bad. I've already mentioned some things to them that they are already trying to figure out and tweak. So I just love that they are willing for me to be completely honest, and I love that. Um, but also they did give you a coupon code, so if you are shopping on their website, you can save 15% off. I'll leave the code here if you want to save a little money. You can also find them on Amazon, and some of these puzzles that I'm mentioning today are currently on sale on Amazon, so I'm not sure about like in the future, but right now some of them are a little bit discounted there. There is also going to be some information about a giveaway that I'm posting in this video, so please stay tuned towards the end so you can learn more about that. I'll also leave some information down in the description box as well. But let's just go into the brand because I have a little bit to say about them just since I was able to talk to them in person, which was really a cool experience. So Antelope is a small company. It is, I'm not sure if they're a family, but it's definitely independently owned company based in New York, but all their puzzles are manufactured in China. They do have a nice variety of puzzles. I'll show some pictures of some different collections on the screen. They currently have a Universe collection, Van Gogh collection, which you'll see a couple of from the, in this video, Art of Nature, they have a photography line, Lin, which is probably my favorite out of all of them. There's some leisure puzzles, and a collection called Cyber City. And I know they are working on a fantasy line right now currently. So they just have a large variety of different images if you are into one thing or another. They do have a missing piece system. So if you are missing a piece, whether that's because you opened it up and there's a missing piece for some reason, or if you lose a piece, you can always get a new piece in its replacement. So they have a system online. It's just like a form you fill out. You tell them the piece that you are missing and they will send you a new one. They print off at least five extra puzzles that are dedicated to this program. Um, I'm not sure about if there's more than five people missing the same exact piece, what they'll do if they're just like make another set of copies, but um, they did say to me that it's like kind of like a lifetime warranty if you are missing a piece or two, that they can help you out and get you a new piece so you can have a completed puzzle, which I think is really cool. The puzzles, some again are on sale for like $16, they go up to around $24, but I feel like they're all around the $20 range, and I feel like in general, that is a really fair price for them because I have really enjoyed the quality so far. All the pieces are completely matte, which is something that I like. The thickness is really nice. The fit is fantastic. I don't think I've had a false fit this whole time and I've done five of their puzzles. So out of the five puzzles, I've never had a false fit. They do have 500 and 1000 piece puzzles. I'm not sure if they're going to expand, but they do have at least a couple different options for piece count. I did one 500 and then four 1000 piece puzzles. And I did notice a little bit of a difference with the paper backing that is on the puzzle. So on the thousand pieces, I had no issues with the paper backing, but I did notice on the 500 piece that it didn't cut all the way through on a couple sections, so they arrived connected. Um, not a huge deal for me. It didn't hinder my experience at all, but it's just something I want to mention. If that is like a big critique of yours, that is something I've already mentioned to them and they are working on it. So so they are aware that that's something that puzzle lovers don't like is having a paper backing. So they're working on that, but in general, they just want to make the best possible brand that puzzle lovers love. And I really appreciate it about their brand. So they also do their own licensing, which I learned a little bit at the puzzle convention. Um, so say you have an artist and she made some images, she can use that image and license it off to a bunch of different brands. So sometimes you'll see that if like, say your graphic has an image, but also Buffalo Game has an image, and it's going to the same artist, but they are both licensed with that same artist. So they do their own licensing with the artists themselves. So that way they are giving fair wages to the people that they are getting the artwork from, which I really appreciate. I know when I was there, they're already in contact with someone for the fantasy line to get her licensed with them. So I just think it's cool that they're working directly with artists. And I just really appreciate that they're not trying to like rip off images. They're just getting their own artwork, which is really cool. Um, and other than that, let's just go into 
the puzzles that I've done. So I do have some overhead footage on some, and then there are some that I have some pictures of. I know I've talked about them a bit, but we're just gonna go over the puzzles and I'll show you what they look like. So let's go into these puzzles. The first one is from their Van Gogh line and it's called Unknown Popular. And I did this one recently, and this one I really enjoyed. I like this one because it was a harder difficulty than all the other ones that I did from them. Definitely, I feel like on the medium side for me, um, even though there's a lot of just distinct magazine covers, which by the way, each magazine cover is actually a real magazine cover that is sold. Um, so there's like one from Time, there's uh, Newsweek, is that Mad? Um, so they're all actual real magazine covers that Van Gogh is on um, and then in here is Van Gogh himself um, so this is the cute image it is again on the medium difficulty level because even though they are very distinct magazines there's a texture in them that makes it pretty tricky um, so the the newspaper wasn't very hard the black area in him wasn't very hard the, but the magazine covers was a bit trickier. Um, you could work from the words and then afterwards I worked around the, the black bits of the shape of the magazines and then with the texture, I was able to use it through color. I was never really stuck at all, but it was definitely one that was a little bit trickier. You had to put a little bit more of a strategic thought around how I was doing this puzzle and I really liked it. I like this one a lot. Again, matte pieces, really good fit, really enjoyed myself and I would definitely recommend this one. The next one in the pile is their 500 piece that I've done. This is from the Lin Wang collection. Again, this is probably my favorite of theirs just because it's totally up my alley. Um, but this one is called Eternal Butterflies of the Spotless Mind. And this one I really enjoy. There's a ton of words on here, which I'm a huge fan of words and puzzles. Uh, there's actually a whole little paragraph down here. There's words with each of the butterflies. You can learn a little bit something if you want to. This one kind of reminded me of like a science classroom poster where it's just like a picture of all the different types of butterflies and information on them and in general I just really enjoy myself again this is the only one that I had an issue where the paper backing wasn't cut all the way through I want to say it happened about maybe six times I was able to rip them off fine but I think there was one where maybe the paper backing came off when I was separating the two pieces so that is the only time it actually hindered the experience but other than that I enjoyed the puzzle a lot and I would still recommend it um, I I just really love the colors like the colors in the the saturation of pigment is just so beautiful like even you know how sometimes when you're looking at a box and the image looks really bright and then you go into the puzzle pieces and they're maybe duller or darker that is not the case in general I always felt like the pieces themselves were actually brighter and even more colorful than the box shows so I just wanted to mention that um, and then the next one I have is the Picasso in the studio line. So this one I purchased myself actually from Amazon because I love this one a lot. I think this is one of their newer launches. Um, but this one, it's Picasso here sitting in his underwear on a chair. Or maybe it's shorts. It might be shorts. Um, but it has a bunch of his artwork around. And even though there's a lot of like this salmon in color, again, I was never stuck because there's a lot of different textures and line work. So you could easily find which area you were working on. Um, again, I never really got stuck. I love the colors of this one. I really enjoyed this one a lot. It's probably one of my favorites out of all of these. Although, I don't know. These are all like really up there for like my favorites of the year. They're just so fun. Love the images. Love the piece quality and the color. So this one I enjoyed. Again, I feel a good difficulty level. It wasn't super hard. It wasn't super easy. It was like right in the middle. This one was really easy and I kind of flew through this one. So if you are new to the puzzle, this is one that you may want to look out on because it was definitely more of an easy image. But this is the Lynn Wayne collection again and it's called Amsterdam Weekend. It's a thousand pieces, super bright, very colorful. Um, each building is its own color and theme. Um, the buildings themselves maybe only took me two hours. I think I'll, in total, I don't even think it took me five hours to do. It was very quick, very easy, never got stuck. Um, I like the little people at the bottom. I love the buildings, I love the colors. Um, this one was just in general a very happy puzzle, but I did notice this one when I took it apart, it was a bit trickier because the paper backing did hinder it a little bit, but 
nothing crazy that I wouldn't buy it again or do it again even. This is one that I would like consider redoing in the future, which I normally don't say, but I just really love this one. It was super fun. And then the final one is the latest one that I finished, and this is probably my favorite out of all of them. This is called Whisper of Cactus. This is the Lynn Whalen collection, and there's also one called Whispers of Garden, which I really want like that's actually on my wants list um, and I think it's currently on sale on Amazon right now so I may purchase it but this is the one that's currently my favorite from the antelope line super bright and very colorful I love the colors of this one I love the green with the orange and the purple and even though it is a lot of green and there's a lot of different cactuses each cactus has its own texture has its own little thing about it that you could easily spot those pieces when you're doing it so like this one here is green with white dots on it so that one is, was easy we have this one over here that's green with like little little pricklies we have this one down here which is a brighter green with black pricklies we have this one over here which is a dark green with like a little pink to it so each one had its own thing so you could easily tell which cactus you're working on and in also the flowers of the, these cactuses are so pretty to do so I really enjoyed this one a lot um, definitely my favorite out of all of these and I'm just looking on the back I don't think I've ever paid attention to the back of the box but it does talk about the artist and her little story and it does talk about the print itself so this one it talks about the American cactuses and the different versions and variations so it does tell you which cactus is which which is kind of cool um, I don't know what else let me see this one so yeah this one actually also talks about the inspiration behind the puzzle, a little bit about Lynn, and then a little bit about the antelope puzzles as well. So um, that's something to mention. They do also all have a little poster inside, so you can use that if you don't want to use the box, or if you're using the box for puzzle pieces, you can have a separate image, which is nice. Um, so yeah, in general, I really don't have much negative to say about them other than that they have a paper backing but it really didn't hinder my experience as I've mentioned and I, it does not deter me from buying more from them. I am going to be buying more from them especially Whisper of Garden. I think that's what it's called. It is so beautiful. I can definitely see me loving that one. Now moving into the last puzzle that I have here which I did not do and I am giving away. Um, nothing against this style of puzzle. It's definitely something I would love to do. There's more from the art fine arts collection totally into but I would never be able to feature it on my channel at all because there's just a smidge of nudity in it. So this one is called The Birth of Venus. It's also one of the only ones that's not sold on Amazon from them because again nudity. Um, so I'm just going to cover her up but you can see the rest of the image. Um, so here we go. Here's the rest of the image hopefully you can see and it's still in that cellophane. Um, but she is naked in the middle. She has some covered up, but she has some nippleage going on. Um, so if you are into fine arts puzzles and you are interested, just feel free to leave a little comment down below. Make sure you are subscribed so it's easy to find you and you can be entered into this puzzle. Or if you don't mind, you want to enter the giveaway and you're not really wanting the fine arts puzzle, just go ahead and leave a message down below. And if you're interested in the ones that I've done, you're totally welcome to those ones instead. Um, but this one, again, I could never feature on my channel. I'll never be able to do it, never be able to show you the final image. So it's just going to be one that I hand off to one of you guys. Hopefully you will enjoy it. So that is it from this video. I know it's been a long awaited video for me, um, but I really have been enjoying their stuff. I'll definitely buy more from them. And it sounds like I'm sponsored by them. I am not. They just gave me the puzzles. I bought the Picasso one. I would definitely be buying more and I really, I really enjoyed myself. Anyways, thank you so much for tuning into this video. Stay tuned for many more videos to come. I'm definitely doing some more dedicated brand reviews. So if you have a brand that you haven't seen on my channel yet, feel free to leave a comment to let me know which one you want me to do next. So thank you so much. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.